Welcome back, friends. It is I, your slash scarf, and it's time for the next episode of Chapter 5, or Episode 5, of Wolf Among Us. So it's 5 2. So, uh, okay, so Vivian, the girl with the ribbon, she, um, in, in the old world, she married a guy, and she had a ribbon, right? And she couldn't tell him what the ribbon meant for some reason, even though she married a dude. And one day, he tried to pull the ribbon. And when she noticed what he was doing, she freaked the hell out, divorced him, and got the hell out of there, and decided to live in isolation because she felt it was a betrayal, because he just couldn't trust her to not pull the ribbon. Like, she couldn't trust him to just believe her that he shouldn't just pull the ribbon, and he did. So, um, Curiosity nearly got her killed. She met Georgie when they exodus, and they decided to make their own strip place, and they did the whole, uh, discretion thing. But, for God's sake, she knows what the risks were. Why would she do it, really? Really, Vivian, really. You knew the risks. Why would you do that to them? Kind of not cool, you know? But here we go. Here we go. Oh, there's the... There's the... Uh, limo. All right. So if we hopped on the limo, would we be here first? That's my question. And then would we just find Georgie super duper dying of bleeding? I wonder if, yeah, if we do the other side of things, would we actually ride this all the way there? Still warm. He's here, all right. We'll have to see if the chase just changes it over or not. It probably doesn't. We probably still end up at the pudding and pie. But I guess I'll just check and find out. Here we go. Of course. Oh, are we surprised? All right. I wonder how the fight would have gone if I just killed D, right? Like that other point? Like, there's little things here and there that would be affected by my choices. Check the boxes. Check out my package. So this is where they've been sending these. Alright, here we go. I don't think Georgie had to kill him, you know? There had to be another way. Oh, this is not gonna go well. It's a trap! Big B Wolf! Ah, uh, yeah, it's a trap! The Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> the Big Bad- I'm gonna die, that's what this is- oh, hey. The hell? You used to be something. Mm, what? Pictures of Big B. There's Faith. And the rest of there. And then there, okay. And it's her talking to to uh, Polly. Isn't him? There we go. This was fairly recent. That's after he beat up the pawn shop. This is the three. Let's see here. So we got Faith. I'm assuming this is Lily in glamoured form. And then there's Narissa. There's Big B in. How did they get that picture? They, are they through mirrors? Can they all be through mirrors? I don't know. They used to fear you. Oh, the crooked wheel. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. Oh, that's the crooked wheel. Ooh, that's a messed up torture. One thing's for sure, I really like the voice actor, actress work. She's really scary sounding. Good job to whoever's doing the voice. I know a lot of voice actor names, but I'm not going to make a guess and mess up. Oh, Foundry for Silver. Right. Maybe I should take some of these to shoot other people. Silver. The big bad wolf. She's hiding in a mirror. Oh, shit. Oh. How'd she... It's about time you showed up. Right. How'd you do that? I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. How'd she do that? I thought she had to be in a mirror. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Man, people are dying to Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. 
I'm sure you will persuade him. <laughs> Silence. Does that usually work for you? You planning to kill me with your eyeballs? I could try. <sighs> I assume your mother taught you how to fight proper. Oh dear. She was a wolf. Oh, was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? Oh, burned! 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 Okay, let's do this. Oh, come on! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Is that the best you can do? <laughs> Ow. Get blocking. Oh, there's a good hit. Ah, uh, oh, damn it. This is not gonna be easy. You know, at least we're not in the Hall of Mirrors, right? Or a house of mirrors. I thought she needs mirrors to do this, though. She's just teleporting at this point. Do not want to be stuck on that thing. Oh, shit. Oh, um, this way. This is the second spot, but maybe she's messing with me. I used the first spot she went, then the other one, but maybe she's messing with me. Go over here. Okay. Expecting a sucker punch. Expecting a sucker punch. Ah. Not sure. oh, oh. ah, crap, did not W fast enough. Maybe we should get out of this easy hot spot for her to kick my ass. She just totally slashed me. Ah, I didn't even dodge that one. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Where are you? Am I even stopping these? Or am I supposed to hold? Come out and face me. I'll try to hold next time. Oh. Oh! Don't face me! Don't face me! Don't face me! That's crazy looking. That is crazy looking. Oh shit! Maybe I shouldn't punch that. Oh! I'm fighting glass here. I don't know if it's a good Don't hug glass! Ah! Ooh. She is kicking my ass! Ah. Oh, I keep hitting Q! Oh. Please tell me I fell on her. Wait, I don't want to fall on her. That would hurt. Oh. <laughs> There's no way. She's somewhere else. These are broken glasses. Oh, better hope I'm awesome right now. Very awesome. Ow! Oh, punching glass has to hurt, by the way. Dodging, or am I just taking hits? I can't tell. The other. Oh, this is bad. Oh, that's. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh this hurts. Oh, he's got full wolf! Oh, shit! Woo! Oh, damn! Oh, damn! Oh, flat! Jeez! They're all copies though. Where's the real one? The one that dodges maybe? 
Ah, oh, jeez. Did I get back down somehow? Oh, it's time for the big breath! It's time to huff and puff! Yeah! There's the wind. It's untight. Woo! There she is. Okay. I thought she's getting me in the eye. All that blood is his is his own blood, by the way. Damn, had to go full wolf for that one. Jesus. That had to hurt. Good surprise, I didn't see that coming at all. He didn't just hulk out his clothing? Now what? Zero days since work accidents. Don't get sucker punched. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. Okay, that's a good reason. This gun holds six rounds of specially dis- I won't miss next time. Fine. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. I'd like that. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. That's the plan. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. That's the plan. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Why do we want that? Are we clear? The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. Doesn't want me to kill him. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. I believe Georgie. Maybe you didn't carry it out. But I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. I'm a businessman, not a killer. Justification. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will. As long as you agree to my terms. I want to. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point. But just so we're clear. If you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. The hell? What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? This is about protecting Fable Town. Some asshole murders two of our people. It's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. <laughs> it's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. My plan was to bring him in. I'm not going to kill you know, him. I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. 
My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Let him hold on to it. Fine. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. Just cuff him. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. It'd be interesting to see the other side of this after we finish this. Because I want to see what happens if we just straight up kill his ass. Probably not going to go well. I know, I know. But we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. A lot of angry people. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. He didn't make it easy. At the crooked man's place. Well, he didn't make it easy. <laughs> what happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got Killed him. Killed a lot of people. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know. You know. Well. I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily! She was my sister! How could you? What do you have to say Where for yourself? Where the fuck do you get this off? Poor you think you have the right and to just do this to people? You're a fucking crook! This. You should fucking be ashamed. Shit. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of as I Faith and- As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was G Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White, but I thought it would be unwise to proceed with such faulty information. Bigby, is that true? He gave the order. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? He's dead. Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? He suffered at the Georgie end. Georgie paid for what he did. In the end. There was a fight, and he bled out from his wounds. It's over. So he's dead? That's what you're saying? I can't believe it was him. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That need doesn't change this. anything. <laughs> we'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the what rest of the other ch charges. If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Let it go. Unless you plan to abandon the charter entirely. After the rest of your crimes are read through, then you will have an opportunity to defend yourself. But only then. If you insist. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. <laughs> A misunderstanding. Twice. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical mm. artifacts. Don't interrupt. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, uh, like hell you did. Stop the charade. We know you're in hell. Let him it's speak. Obvious. Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. 
upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where realm. it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get on but with it we've promised then. you a chance to defend yourself. And I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. <laughs> if we're fuck? ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? <laughs> Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with Tell it. This is such bullshit! You've always been a bit of a powder keg. It was only a matter of time before something like this happened. Let him speak. Maybe I should have kept an eye on him. But can you really blame me for what happened? Of course we can. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? I wouldn't call that help. Helpful isn't the word I would use. My comrades are another matter. And I'm sorry for the predicament they put you in. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man. Just to save someone. What's he talking about? Is this going somewhere? Straight to the point, I see. Yeah. You'll make a fine deputy mayor. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. Yeah. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah. That's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. Oh. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? Mm, that was Crane. Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. Oof. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. Ah, crap. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Is that true? Snow? I know. Snow made a mistake. Snow made a mistake. I have very good reasons for asking you to do that. She was working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. Shit. It had nothing to do with the Crooked Man. Yeah. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. 
No one can. We'll do better. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you, exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. Do you really think the crooked man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He cares about your obedience. They're right. Oh. You're all still afraid of him. Interesting. Even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Wow, that turned it around, didn't it? Mr. Butcher didn't say Jack. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie murders. was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Problem. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Unfortunately, Vivian's dead. Snow? What about your history? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town! What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just Of need... course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him. make sure I understand you. Oh dear. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Oh dear. Yes! Of course! Where are you going with this? Where are you going with this? If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Ah! Like what? Ripped his arm. How about the way he treated the poor woodsman when he was in your cut? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch. Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let Bluebeard that go? Did that. that was Bluebeard, not me. He was a murder suspect. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Eh. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. I did rip an arm off. That's enough. So, That's what's coming. you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for this mine. This is completely different. We I all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This is right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, the I know- The laws apply when we need them Bluebeard, to- Bluebeard, Calm down, please. please. Everyone calm down. This isn't I the reason I mean a certain here. level of privilege should be afforded to- no. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Oh dear. Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny? Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Rep. Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Hey. Who will be Bigby? The... Miss White! Nerissa! Just in time, thank you. Excuse me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's while? she doing here? Nerissa's the evidence. I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Yes, I'm to say. Bluebeard. She has something to say and we're gonna listen. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut up. Uh. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <laughs> but you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. Ooh. How are you? I found Vivian's body. 
Shit. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order she wants here. You all free. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, oh I don't think I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Who? Faith and Lily. That's a lie. I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Ooh. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say... You're an asshole. <laughs> this confirms and it. And I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Winning the crowd. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you Ooh. know? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me? Me too. So, that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. No, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. Ooh. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free what after this. Expect? What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I assure not good you, enough. There will be more if he isn't Jesus. stopped. Been enough I don't get shot so we can get rid of him. Him. To get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up! Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we- This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Why not? What about a vote? What do you think this is? Everyone, calm down. Let's vote. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. I'm the judge? That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Son of a bitch. Are you sure? This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. I'm the judge. Just do what you think is right. Yes, Sheriff. <laughs> do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. Oh, no. God. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. fucking get rid of him. I can rip his head Not off. This way. Oh, shit. Oh, I was about to make a choice. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Oh, goddamn. Oh, goddamn. No, 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 no. No, no. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Lock him up. Eesh. Jesus. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't what be he's serious. done. You're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. Jesus. He almost took me down with him. All right, do it. Holy crap! Well, there's a bit more, and we'll find out the aftermath next time. Book of Fable, let's see here. You chose to kill his ass. No, let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's his mother. That's him. And there's Bloody Mary. And then there's everybody, and then there's two more. What's left? Oh man, I could just throw him down the damn well. Or... I could have ripped his goddamn head off. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Achievements. See the achievements. Of what I'm... Ah, oh, we still got a little bit more to go here. Oh god. Then there's just going through if I killed him. Hmm. There's so many different ways this thing can go. I don't... Oh my god. Well... That's it for this episode. We did a lot here. 
I guess it's the aftermath next, but for now, that right there is the game. Oh my god! I had fun of it for watching. That's what's all about, isn't it? Having fun. It's coming by and see you next time. Mm -hmm.